So there's more news for the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour, and it's just mind-boggling. Before we get started, if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, please. I really do appreciate it. Helps the channel. And I'm trying to grow. And this is tough to do. YouTube is tough to break into. So click the sub button, and I appreciate it. Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour announced the roster for the 2024 season. Now again, the format's changed. The scoring format's changed. It's to every fish counts, which benefits some anglers and hurts other anglers. But there are a bunch of anglers on the list, or there are a bunch of anglers that are not on the list that is really intriguing. We've went through the BPT and now the, the what's gonna happen in 2025, that they're gonna go down to the top 35 and then they're gonna take the top 10. So it's pretty much the top 45 and then five anglers. And there's only gonna be 50 people. This year in 2024, the upcoming season, there'll only be 80 anglers. There's been 10 or 12 rookies that have come in, Keith Carson, a bunch of great anglers in the Invitational is that earned their way up, but at the same time, there's a bunch of anglers that have now left. Of course, we know Kevin Van Dam, the KVD, the GOAT, he retired, so we can't really say anything about him other than he definitely makes the top 35 if he were to fish 2024 and then fish, want to fish in 2025. He makes it without any problems. I had a lot of people request that or ask that in the, the last video I did about BPT. But there's a list of 10, 12 anglers that are really either they're leaving and I'm just going to give you my opinions on why. And we're going to go from the bottom to the top because there's one angler that I just think is, it's unbelievable. So there's a few guys that are moving on that really didn't have a chance to qualify for the 2025 season. So it kind of makes sense that they move on now and either go to the MPFL, which is probably where a majority of these guys are going to go, or they fish the Invitationals or the Opens to requalify. Anglers like Tommy Biffle and Roy Hawk and Timmy Horton and Jeff Critt really, really didn't have a shot at making that top 35 or top 45 for the BPT. They just, even if they finished first this season and, and won Angler of the Year, it just statistically was almost physically impossible. I mean, is there a shot in hell? Does the sun shine on a dog's ass? Occasionally. But unfortunately, it was a dark road for them and they were they were veering, they were veering left instead of right. So those anglers really didn't have a chance for that 2025 season. Where it becomes a little bit more intriguing is anglers like Cliff Pace, Brett Height, and Mitch Crane, who were in that, they were across the street looking inward. They were looking as much inward as they can. Could they have make it for 2025? Yes, but they really, really needed to have a fantastic year. Anglers like Mitch Crane was in list, was 55th in overall legend and legendary status or legendary points. Whereas Brett Height was, I don't have this in order, 57th. And then Cliff Pace was 53rd. Now to make that top 45, they're still in that verge. Have a good year, definitely puts them up there. But some of these guys, I think are moving on because of the format change. That's just my opinion. I, I haven't talked to any of them. I asked a couple anglers some questions when I saw this come out and that's what they kind of said to me. Now anglers like, the, the where the, it gets a little bit intriguing is anglers like uh, Cody Meyer and Randall Tharp. Now Cody had a great 2023 season. He finished, I think 37th is what I had him down, 36th. And he's in that 44th range for those legendary points. I believe Cody has moved on. And I, I didn't talk to Cody, but somebody mentioned this to me. Cody moved on, is moving on because he wanted to fish a five fish format. I understand that. There's nothing wrong with it. Cody leaving is a kind of a, a somewhat big name for BPT. I think Cody moves over to MPFL or he goes into the, the opens for sure. He can't join the elites. He's going to have to requalify. And the MPFL looks like a really good option for him to continue to fish. And Randall Tharp, who I think is one of the best anglers I've ever met, was 45th in that overall points. So Randall needed to have another good year, have a good year, and to, to qualify for the 2025 season. I think Tharp was on that borderline. I think I think a lot of things that happen with Tharp, and I don't know this personally, is he's probably sick of the constant changes. He's a straight shooter, great angler, and he's another guy that I think 
the five fish format works out better for him too. Our next angler who's leaving is in for sure in my opinion, unless he just finished dead last, which is wouldn't happen. Josh Butler, he was 37th last year. He's 31st in the points overall. I think Josh is a fantastic angler and I think he makes it without any problem. I think Josh leaving is a big, a somewhat that moderately good name that is gonna have an effect somewhat on the BPT. I think Josh is a young angler. I think he's good. I think Josh is one that the BP team misses quite a bit. But I also think Josh might be one of those anglers that wanted the five fish format. And I think this format change really affects a lot of anglers. I think it works great for anglers like Jacob Wheeler. I think Jacob Wheeler should be loving what happened right now. I think it hurts other anglers. Years ago, I didn't think it worked for Jason Christie. He moved over to the Leeds and has been unbelievably successful. There's some anglers that like the five fish format over the every fish counts because you can find a school of fish and just beat them up. You can just beat up those one pounders or hopefully they have it so it's a certain weight that the fish count. That is having a major effect on what a lot of these anglers, why they're moving or leaving the BPT. And the biggest name of all of them that's leaving the 2024 season is Jordan Lee. Now. I've been very adamant that I thought Jordan Lee leaving elites to go fish BPT was a mistake. He had just won two classics. He is technically at that point the face of the elites and the bass master. When I heard that Lee was moving over to the BPT, I thought it was a mistake. I also thought Brandon Palnick leaving was a mistake. I thought both those guys just had everything that they could that they wanted and that they could do on the elites that would just propel them to the next level. I've said the same thing about Justin Lucas. I think those were the three guys I had somewhat of an issue leaving the elites to go fish the BPT. So last year, Jordan finished seventh in angular of the year points. And I think when I look at lifetime points, I think Jordan's in the top five. He qualifies hands down. Now getting back to the elites is a big thing for Jordan and he used his legendary exemption to requalify. Larry Nixon decided he wasn't gonna fish, which opened up a legendary exemption. So he had to make a decision on the fly. Is it a good decision? I mean, anywhere Jordan fishes, he's gonna do well. Truth be told, if you watch the NPFL video that I did, Jordan's one of the guys I was talking about of the three guys I knew that I thought were gonna go fish the NPFL. And Jordan being part of the elites really helps him fish NPFL. Really helps him fish NPFL. So don't be surprised if you don't see Jordan on there, but it's up to him. Jordan going back to elites is a huge, huge, huge thing for BPT and for the elites. I would say the only there's only two names that if they left BPT to join the elites that could be bigger. Jacob Wheeler and KVD. KVD is retiring, thank goodness. But I wouldn't put it, uh, put it that far out of line that he doesn't use that legendary exemptions at some point to go fish a classic. It would be great to see him back there fishing the classic. But Jacob Wheeler ever moves back to the elites, mind blown. I think really the biggest thing that's that's on the list of people who are in for 2024 and people who are out are not is Boyd Duckett. I mean Boyd finished 78th in two, 2023 and Boyd is the 78th ranked angler on there too. I thought they were gonna drop the top 10. Really, the craziest thing, and I'm just gonna throw this out because I'm just thinking of it. The craziest thing is Boyd has a legendary exemption for the bass. What if Boyd decided to go back there and fish? Wouldn't that be crazy? Would they let him in? Geez, I don't know. All the things that's happened and being the, the CEO of Major League Fishing, I don't ever think it will happen, but boy, you could start some shit with some of that. That would be crazy. So what do you think of the anglers that are leaving? What do you think of the anglers that are staying? I mean, Boyd really now only has one year. I, I honestly believe there's no way Boyd makes the top 35 or 45 in 2025. I think it's almost impossible. He can't make the top 35 for the points, so he has to make the top 10 after that. He has to have an absolutely ridiculous year. That's the truth. He needs to, he needs to qualify. I don't think that'll happen, but we'll see what happens, and that'll just add more drama for next season. And I should say, during the year, I'm gonna to try to do a video after every BPT, put in the stats of where the anglers are and the points, so we can see who's that top 35, who's that top 10 after that, who's in and who's out. And hopefully you guys stick with me 
and I appreciate you guys for watching this long. So thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing at all times. If you can take him out fishing and teach him about the outdoors, do it, please. We need youth. We need the young anglers fishing. Boys, girls, everybody. Just take them fishing. Get your fish on. Catch them up. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.